Yep. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Edwards, and I'm here at the Hour Center to bring you a moment for mission. I'd like to introduce you to Julie Lupian, who's the volunteer coordinator here. Um, hello, Julie. Thank you for having us here today. Um, a lot of you already know that one of the ways we support the Hour Center is by uh, providing lunches six Sundays a year. Uh, our church has been doing this for many years. Carol Edwards and I are currently co-leading uh, this much needed ministry. We buy the food funded by our mission budget, cook and prepare it here in the Hour Center kitchen, serve the meals and clean up afterwards. Um, Julie, could you explain um, why the need for this weekend lunch program? Well, it's kind of ironic that I'm the volunteer coordinator here now because for many years, I worked at one of the churches here in Longmont, the Spirit of Peace Catholic Church. I was the outreach person. I was uh, very involved in the Hour Center and 20 some years ago, there was no food for anyone on the weekends. So there was always conversations about how do we feed people on the weekends. And um, I knew that many of the members of our community were not available during the week to volunteer at the Hour Center. And so I thought we could, we could put together teams of people to be able to make sure there was food on the weekend. And um, so I went ahead and organized this way back when. And your church was certainly one of the first ones I called to be able to do this, to have the churches that were part of starting the Hour Center get this new valuable program going. going. So our concern always with our lunches is the fact that that may be the only nutritious meal people get in a day. And so um, to, to make sure that we have people to have access to food every day um, and to have the groups like yours come in, I see it as a win-win-win. It helps us to serve more people. It stretches our budget. Um, it gets your community, gives them a chance to meet people they, you might not otherwise. Um, and it gives the people who come here that we feed an opportunity to meet new people, to know that more people care about them, and to eat food different than what we serve them every day during the week. Um. As a, a lot of you can imagine, due to the pandemic, there's been uh, changes in how this has been done. Um, so we've served twice now since then, um, and I know the Art Center has safety as a top priority. Could you expand on uh, changes you've had to make uh, in regards to safety and distribution? Of, of so we, the, we made two major changes here at the Art Center, and part of it includes what the weekend program is the fact that um, Everything has to be done outside. Uh, the services we provide have to be done to go style. And so right now the only services we are offering are groceries and our lunches. Um, and so part of the problem is not just moving it outside, is the fact that we need to keep everyone safe and that includes a safe distance. So we have a whole protocol of wearing masks and wearing gloves and taking temperatures and spacing uh, things out so that uh, not only are the workers not on top of each other, but the way we serve people outside when they come for the lunch, we have our tables set up so there's a safe distance. And unlike some things I see on television, we don't hand things to people. We put things out there for people to hand, pick them up themselves. And we have a, a cart that uh, one of our volunteers did a MacGyver on and it makes it so that you can push the cart up to the vehicle and still be at a safe distance from them. So it's a priority because not only is it keeping those of us who are serving safe, but it's also keeping those we serve safe as well. Now, I'm curious about uh, other changes in the need for this program and other services you provide um, with all this going on now. Are you seeing any changes in demographics, number of clients, families? Right. So the Our Center serves our uh, service area is the St. Green Valley School District. And um, for the most part, so far we haven't been really strict with that. If people have come asking for groceries or um, lunches, we are not, we're giving them that. You know, we just, whoever needs food, we're giving it to them. Um, the biggest change you can see is probably in our grocery program. People can come and get groceries once a week and the amount of food they get is based on the size of their family. And um, so every day, every day they come for uh, food, we ask them, what's the size of your household? And that's, so we have people coming who have never come here before. So we have 
hundreds of people have never used our center services coming. Uh, so we have lots of new people. Um, but we also have, when people come up, the household size is larger. So previously a family might have come and said, I have a family size of four. And now they're asking for a family size of nine. And the reason that is is because someone has lost their housing and they are living together. So we are regularly seeing more and more people. Um, but I think that's the, the biggest one is that to see what people are having to do to get by is live, move in with each other. And besides our lunch program, what are some of the other volunteer opportunities here? So, um, so again, we serve lunch every day, not just on the weekends. So we, we do need help in the kitchen. But our focus is all food right now. Right now we are in the, what used to be the clothing bank. Um, we do have some clothing available if there's an emergency and someone needs something. But we are focusing only on food. And so it's um, either related to getting the meal ready or helping to package the meal to go outside. Or it's receiving food donations in our warehouse and sorting through produce and um, grocery items. It's restocking the shelves. And then uh, we have some people who, as you can see, we have bags and boxes of food here. These are all non-perishables that are done ahead of time so that when the people arrive and tell us how many people are in their family, we can easily pick this up and then go pick up the fresh items. So we need people who will pack these bags and these boxes ahead of time. Then we also have people that when our market is open and people are stopping by, they're the ones who pick up the box and then go in and get the fresh produce and the milk and the eggs to add to uh, what we're going to give them. So it's basic, basically some help in the kitchen, help in the getting the lunch ready to go outside. It's working in the warehouse to get the food ready for our shelves, um, or it's packaging these uh, boxes and bags that we give out um, each day. Thank you, Julie. Um, we'll be serving lunch here again Sunday, September 13th. I know you may have health concerns during this pandemic, and that's very understandable. But if you're comfortable with it, we'd love to have you join us, and we could really use your help. So thank you again, Julie, for having us here, here today. We look forward to supporting this lunch program in September and, and again in November. Um, we have an online sign-up sheet with a link to it in our uh, to the sign-up sheet in our weekly announcements and also our missional outreach newsletter. Uh, so thank you all for li listening. <laughs> Let us continue our worship.